Even if suspected terrorists are on the no-fly list, they can still be missed. That's why some say we need to use facial, recogni recognition, facial recognition software. It's technology, once used only by the military and now ready for anyone to use, is more accurate than ever. But how does it work? Well, joining us right now is Wolfgang Ritter. He's the Director of Sales and Marketing for ISS, International Security Service. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, I, I figured, you know, this is just something they say they have on the TV show 24. It doesn't really exist, but it does. We're going to put up uh, some images from your website. How does your facial recognition software work? Well, we use a template or multiple templates of a person, and those multiple templates get compared in a split of a second to that image in front of the camera. It's a little bit like playing memory, except... Your deck of cards is one million cards, sure. and you have one twenty-fifth of a second time right. to make your match. And so. let's, Wolfgang, let's talk about what we're looking at right there. In the upper left-hand corner, this is from your website. These are people who are just exiting somewhere. You're telling me that your software can identify every one of those persons as being on a watch list if they're already entered. Exactly, and what you see here is it's not a random... But they're so walking so fast. It, it can grab a face that fast? It can grab a face that fast, yeah. Part of that technology is coming from space technology, mm -hmm. from missile target identification information, image analysis that was developed for cruise missiles, mm -hmm. actually, or, or missiles, I shouldn't say sure. cruise missiles, uh, to, the, to find that target out there. And this technology now is coming into the civilian world, basically, well, improving sure. security on airports dramatically. Well, and, and people know it's out there. So if you're, if you're a bad guy, what if you just put on a beard or, or grow a mustache? <laughs> I got news for you. You can grow a beard, you can lose your beard, you can grow hair, lose hair. You know, you can gain weight, lose weight. You can change your sex. I still get you. You still get it. Mm. Where's it being used right now? It's used, well, in, in big airports. Um, some of it part out of the country here, but it's coming to the U.S. a lot more. Imp security here is improving mm -hmm. dramatically, and we're in talks with all big ministers. Have you caught any of the bad guys? Well, that's information I don't get. I wish I would. Mm -hmm. I'm always curious to know that. But. Sure. Well, now, here's the problem, Wolfgang. Some people are saying, okay, look, I, I walked through the airport, uh, or I walked down a street where those cameras are. I, I don't want somebody looking at me and comparing me with a, a list somewhere. I don't want anybody to know where I am. This is an invasion of privacy. Well, as long as you're not on a watch list, you shouldn't have any worries. And people always have privacy concerns. But you have social networks. You use your credit card. Um, those things invade your privacy a lot more. Yeah, but there are a lot of people who aren't on Facebook or MySpace or Twitter or stuff like that, and they would like to think that they can walk around without being tracked. They can, actually. Um, the system only um, submits vector data, so we don't even send your image to, to a recognition server, so just your features of your face. Well, it is really cool that it works that fast. Uh, Wolfgang Ritter, we thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. His company is called ISS.